¿Qué problema con Mariana? ¿En que se encontró mi pana? Ramón Puntía la quería. Ramón Puntía gritaba. Oh, oh my bad. Y'all call me out here singing, man. Welcome to another episode. Um, today I basically just wanted to talk a little bit about bueno, tú sabes, los verbos subjuntivos, or how we say in English, subjunctive verbs, you know, and also commands, you know, los mandatos, los mandatos. The thing about commands and the subjunctive, especially when we're talking about present tense, they're actually the same words, you know, it took me a little bit of some time to kind of realize that, you know, I, I didn't really start tackling the subjunctive until I moved to the DR. You know, I have my books. I didn't really just pick it up in the street. I definitely did do some studying to get that. But, you know, the thing that I realized is if you can learn one, you can definitely learn the other, you know. And especially if you're learning who said commands first, it will definitely help you out. You know, for example, let me give you um, let me give you a word. Like telling somebody, eat, you know, just eat, coma, right? That's a command, you know, coma usted. But if I wanted to turn that into the subjunctive, all I would have to do is just add my emotion in front of that. You know, for example, I want you to eat. I would say, quiero que coma. Quiero que coma usted. Or, quiero que usted coma. You know, I can say it both ways. It doesn't really matter. And when you're dealing with somebody who's closer to you, <clears throat> you know, as you might have learned, uh, tú usually takes an S at the end of their verbs. So the same way that I would say, quiero que usted coma, I would say, quiero que tu comas. I would just add an S to the end of that. And that goes for any verb that you can imagine. You know, let's take speak or say. 